people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. And today we have part three in our continuing series where we're taking a very easy two chord progression in a very kind of modern progressive kind of style, and we're different, uh, trying some different soloing techniques, some different devices, and things that you could try to put your own spin on. And uh, be sure to watch the first two lessons where we talked about the scales we were using, natural minor scale, de Aeolian mode, and we talked about other things like some lick devices, and we talked about things like uh, some whammy bar use and some crazy things you could do with some arpeggios. And in this lesson, we'll do some more stuff with arpeggio use and uh, some of the other things that I was doing over the intro solo section, right? And always remember that it's the chords that really give you the roadmap to what you can use solo and improvisation wise. So always, you know, examine those chords, pull them apart, study the relationship between chords and scales and what scales sound good over what chords and what sounds best to your ear. Keep, so important to keep on uh, developing your ear right uh, makes such a big difference in your playing that's kind of the trick right to add these different techniques and devices uh, to your arsenal um, of destruction right and then you can blast it over all your playing okay so what we have today is um, a little progression I'm playing over and all the chords are is a D sus 2 to a D sus 2 over B flat right so it's just like uh, Only one note changes from that D, D sus2, just changing the bass note. And I wanted to keep the chord changes really simple so you can concentrate on the progression. And um, it's a real fun progression to practice your techniques over. Hey, and if you want a free video lesson that's not here on YouTube and a free ebook that coincides, I'll send it to you for free. All you have to do is in the description box, in the YouTube description box, click on the link in that box and then uh, follow the screens and I will send you a free video lesson that's not on YouTube and a coinciding ebook has tons of scales diagrammed out, tons of lessons. It's very cool. You'll enjoy it. Just click on that link. We'll send it to you for free from Next Level Guitar. So in the intro, I was playing uh, some licks based off an arpeggio. It sounded kind of like this. <laughs> So that arpeggio is actually an F major 7th arpeggio, but I'm kind of making it sound like a D minor arpeggio. Remember, like we talked about, F major is the relative major of D minor. Same note. So as long as you're emphasizing the D and playing Ds in your solo and resolving to those Ds, you know, we're using F major scales, same as D minor. And we could use these, these major 7 arpeggios in the key of F as long as we focus on the D notes, right? So it sounds really good, and you might not think of it that way, but kind of twist your brain a little bit and give it a try, and try the relative major over the minor, but focusing on those more minor tonality notes. And, you know, that will open up. You'll be able to use maybe some other arpeggios you, you weren't using in, in, in minor key or vice versa. Give it a try. So that shape looks like this. back it up so it sounds more minor because I'm ending it on the D note right that didn't sound major even though technically you might be thinking that as F major 7 right D natural minor and then what I was doing was I was focusing on that E to F Because remember, it's all about the sound, and I really like the way that in this key, this E to F sounds. Because that E in the key of D minor is the second, F is a flat third. I like that second or that ninth. It's a very has a lot of drama that note, and again, all about the sounds, right? So the lick I was playing was. Right, the bass lick was. Where I'm sliding, sliding back, sliding up, back, pull off. You gotta stretch a little bit between this eighth fret and the twelfth fret. Right? Um, now, I was throwing it in once and then twice, kind of like throwing an extra hit, kind of adds a little jazzy kind of flavor to it. Right? 
And then I slid up. Guess what? E note ended on the D. So you get this. Uh, and I'm only playing a part of it. Right, because our good arpeggio playing kind of mixes arpeggios in with scales and other notes. You're not necessarily going to always play the arpeggio from the first lowest note all the way down straight through. Just like you wouldn't play a scale necessarily that way. You kind of, kind of mix it up a bit, right? So, and then I just threw in that little sweep arpeggio there. I'll show you that real quick too. That is basically just a straight D minor arpeggio. So that's just root or D, flat third, F, and then A, our fifth, root, flat third, fifth, D, F, A, D, F, A, D minor triad, then repeat, D, F, A. That's a great arpeggio that's a fifth string root movable, just like that minor seventh arpeggio, movable, fifth string root like I showed you in the last lesson. And I just played kind of it from the top down and kind of swept it. And then actually I went back into that F major 7 arpeggio again. And then I kind of climbed down the scale with legato. And that's kind of cool. I was just taking um, all of the notes in the scale on one string. And that's another great exercise to do is try to find that those scales like I started with in the first lesson and then just play them. all on one string and you'll be able to connect on one string back into the scales. So it's a really cool technique. So I played a lick something like this. So all I was doing basically was pick, hammer, pull, slide to the next note down in the scale and then repeat. And then I was just connecting it with like this scale. D natural minor when I got down there, like we talked about in the first lesson. See, that's where I connected those first two shapes. So real slow. That's all on the high E string. on the D note, right? So um, I'm just kind of moving around on one string using hammers and pulls to get around the neck. Remember like from the first lesson, so important to start seeing the neck as one big opportunity, one big scale instead of these individualized kind of boxes, which can kind of limit your play. Um, if you're always kind of thinking in, in terms of a box, I like the architecture where you could see things kind of laid out and the totality of the neck. And that really opens things up. It opens up your playing and um, really helps you visualize the neck. And just start like it in the first lesson with a couple of scales connecting them, then add another one and kind of build from there, right? Um, okay, hope you like that lesson. Try some of those arpeggio techniques and throwing them in and the legato and knowing a scale on one string really opens up the lick opportunities for you, right? And so be sure to tune into all the lessons in this series and you know really work them up over jam tracks so important and if you want the track that i'm playing over here i have it on our website nextlevelguitar.com there's a free day i'm sorry <laughs> duh there's a um free three day all access site pass right on the home page so just under the video on the home page click start your trial now then go into the jam track section and download the it's uh, titled uh, d sus2 to b flat uh progressive um uh, jam Download that track and then you could use that as well as give the site a good test drive for three days and enjoy it. See how you like it. You know, we have over 1,500 video lessons, all levels, beginner, and mean, advanced, all genres of music. So check it out, but go there for this track because it's a lot of fun to play over, right? I get a lot of questions on gear. Um, I tend to keep it pretty simple. All I did in the intro, my tone in the intro for this lesson all it is, is I'm playing a Paul Reed Smith USA made 513 guitar. And I switched between playing uh, one of the, it's all single coils, but some of them are wired together. But I played between the back two and then all the way up on the neck pickup. Um, and then 
I just run straight into uh, a diesel VH4S head and cabinet, and I'm just using the amp distortion. The only effect I have on is a little delay. I have a analog um, MXR carbon copy delay, so I'm running from the guitar and, and right into the front of the amp. I have the delay and the effects um, loop, so it's it's out of the chain when it's out. So that's all that tone is. Very simple, just using amp distortion. That's it. Um, and then when I'm teaching this, obviously, just for instructional purposes, I take the delay off and I turn the gain down. Um, and that's that's basically it. Um, I tend to keep it simple on uh, on on gear, um, but you do what sounds best to your ears, and certainly um, you experiment and be creative and have fun with it. All right, so that rounds out this series of lessons. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. Use that three-day free pass I talked about earlier. You can get this jam track that I've been playing over, and you can give the site a good test drive. We add new material every few months. Right now, there's like over 1,500 lessons. I just added like 55 lessons last month. I'm going to add another 50 or something next month. Um, constantly adding new material. So check it out. It's a full online structured curriculum from beginning to end. Lessons for beginners, intermediate, advanced, and all genres of music too. Whether you like blues or rock or shred or metal or rockabilly or surf or jazz or gypsy jazz, country, we have something for everybody. I'm David Taub. Really appreciate your support over the years. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. Stay positive. You know, remember your guitar playing is an evolution. Okay? It's a journey. And enjoy that journey. Stay positive. You can do it! And give yourself plenty of fun time on that guitar every day. Because that's why we do what we do. Because we love it and it's fun. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Rock out. <laughs>